Broadcasting live from the field, fighting back zombie attacks with hard-hitting facts, this is Minecraft News! Hello and welcome to Minecraft News, bringing you the most news for your views. I'm Adam, aka Swimming Bird, live from our floating news desk with so much news, you might just forget how to even. The big story today is our first good look at the hostile new underwater mob. But before that, bunny rabbits! What can they do for you? Well, creator of the new rabbit mob, developer the Mog Miner, has been asking the same thing. In a Twitter conversation, it was suggested that bunnies might drop meat used for brewing the previously unimplemented high jump potion. The Mog Miner agreed, saying that the effect was available for beacons, hinting that it would be very easy to add as a new potion. Following the theme of recent underwater updates, the good old sponge block seems to be making its way into survival at long last, sporting new textures and a new ability to absorb surrounding water blocks, giving it a water-soaked look seen in this gif posted by developer Jeb. Upon Dinnerbone's suggestion, the sponge block may very well be a falling block, affected by gravity much in the same way as sand or gravel, which could open up some potential for builds or maps that use water mechanics. Now our main story, Jeb has released new details on his mysterious underwater mob. We now know that it will use ranged attacks to target both players and squid, doing its part to replace the plentiful and peaceful underwater animal with a bounty of ink sack drops. Full diamond armor is essential for tackling this fearsome creature, with both a potion of water breathing and a respiration helm recommended for taking down these nautical ne'er-do-wells. And here's our first look at the beast, via an enhanced picture of the tiny reddit flare icon Jeb created to tease its appearance. These icons typically represent the face of each mob. Here we see what looks to be eight orange spikes, hinting at maybe a sea urchin, or maybe the eight arms of a terrifying kraken that hunts smaller squid? Maybe it's some sort of naga or merman protecting the briny deep, with their ranged attack being a trident that blasts energy from a distance to break through armored players. The single eye suggests that it could be an ocean-dwelling cyclops, as in Homer's Odyssey, the cyclops Polyphemus was the son of Poseidon, god of the sea and protector of all waters. Regardless, players were quoted as saying this new mob is set to be, quote, totally rad. One thing is for sure though, it's definitely not a barracuda. This was ruled out even before we got our first look. Its face seems curiously similar in color to the new prismarine block, maybe hinting that it's made of the same material. On that subject, Jeb mentioned not calling prismarine the popular name Neptune, as he wanted to avoid mythological references, possibly ruling out the Cyclops theory. We now know for sure that the underwater structures Jeb has been working on will be some sort of water dungeon for players to explore, meaning the new mob is likely a protector of these places and might only spawn in or around the new blocks. Speaking of which, Jeb confirmed that the other new light source block is called a Sea Lantern, lending to the theory that the Shimmer of Prismarine will be used to craft these new lanterns. Maybe they will shine brighter when underwater? Otherwise, they'd just be a glowstone variant with a different look, though we cannot rule that out at this time without further details. Either way, we now know much more about the exciting and long-awaited underwater content coming in the 1.8 update. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this broadcast, and I will see you next time for more Minecraft news.